Hey, I thought I'd do one more real quick video, um, like the QR code video, and I'll have a card up there somewhere for that QR code video. This is about bringing in STL files. I think a lot of people don't know that you can load an STL file into Hueforge. Um, maybe the most common case would be if you bring an STL file off of Thingiverse or Printables or Thangs or Maker World, and you want to try some different color combinations, you can bring that STL file in and play with the sliders. Now, what you can't do is change the geometry. Hueforge won't change the geometry of an existing STL. Now, at some point in the future, I might allow you to scale it and change its height, but for right now, you can't do this. Now, this is a image that I made in a traditional manner. I vectorized an image, I extruded it in a um, uh, CAD program, and then I brought it into Hueforge. But I extruded it with 0.16 layer heights, and I extruded it with the knowledge that I was going to hue forge it and get a prediction. So the well, first thing we want to do is change our layer height to 0.16. Now, this doesn't change the mesh, but it does change how we calculate what the mesh is like. And then we want to change our color. So I'm actually going to bring in this polylight black, the sunloop purple, and this polylight white. Now, let's bring the white all the way to the top, because unlike other times, we don't have an actual depth max depth. Whatever the depth of this mesh is, is the depth that it's going to be. So the white should go all the way to the top. The purple we should bring up until we start seeing it everywhere. Um, we don't want to go so far that we blot out the, the details. If you look here, we have one layer of at 0.16 uh, of purple, and then we have two. So um, basically, each one of these is just one extra layer. And then we can bring the black up and set how dark the base layer is. See, we can, we can make it darker. We can bring the purple up here now. Um, because we have so much more contrast to work with and make it a, a darker purple. We can play with the color. It doesn't have to be purple. I chose purple because that made sense. But if I wanted to put another color in here, that'd be fine. I could put this cobalt blue, get our blue dolphin, could put a green. Any, these can let us play around with what it might look like. I actually kind of like that red, but basically you can play around. And then you can also play around with the white. If you have a higher TD white, um, like the um, Bamboo Labs, um, Cream white, which should be, here, let me show you this. You can sort by TD. I know, let's go the other way, double again. Okay, and then we're looking at about a 10. So bamboo tough, cream white, we can bring that in here. And then we can actually bring this red down and still get our blending um, because the white's not gonna take over as much. But I actually kind of like the more standard um, lower TD five, most whites, jade white, for instance, the five, Bring that in here and get more contrast. Now, something that trips up a lot of people, and it trips them up about the TD step test as well, when you go to File, Save Project, it won't save an STL. When you go to File, Export STL, it's grayed out. Why? This is already an STL. There is no STL to create. We didn't modify the STL. We didn't do anything to it. We just let ourselves see what it will look like when printed. Now, again, remember, I'm getting the appearance of black in the middle of the eye, but, you know, black and bright white eye, and then I've got this pink, red, dark red, but it's still only two color swaps, only three total colors, right? Uh, and I can print at 0.16 layer height. I don't need to really worry about solid. I just need to make sure that my top, you know, five or six layers are solid so I can be a little bit faster on how I print these. Um, and then you want to go to describe. Now I'll tell you describe is probably going to have an error in it. It's going to tell you that there are sliders higher than the max depth because it's still, this is a bug in Hueforge. Don't worry about it. You still do these changes at 24 or at 21 and at 24. Put that in your slicer and you'll be good to go. And I'll throw a picture in here at the end of an example I did with Purple Dolphin um, earlier in time. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. You can bring in old Hue Forges and recolor them. Can't modify the mesh, but you can recolor them if you don't have the source image. And you can bring in models like this and adjust their colors. And then if you have the um, if you have the CAD, you can adjust their heights and get slightly different you know, outcomes in here. You have a little control there. But this is mostly just a visualization tool. But you can use this with dungeon tiles. You can use this with textures or things like that to try to spice them up with some color. Hope this is helpful and you think this is interesting. And I'll see you next time.